Hello and happy Sunday. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you're having a really good day. And I guess it may not be Sunday where you are when you're watching this, but hey, I want to thank you all for all the very kind wishes um, that you've sent while I've had COVID. Um, obviously, my wife has had COVID as well, so we've had a pretty rough time um, over the past couple of weeks. Um, I'm more or less on my feet again. I'm still very fatigued. But anyway, you don't come here for that. That's for the garden and chicken update, I suppose. It's the more rambly, chatty thing. Today, I'm going to ask a question of you because that's what we do on a Sunday. So my question is... Uh, there are, as you know, a lot of things that I would like to convert to electric. Like, I would love to have a Chevrolet Rampside um, electric pickup because I think that would be great. I think you could build a really cool camper back for it. Um, and I think that would be awesome. Like, I know it has the aerodynamics of a brick, but then, as we may have commented, so does the F-150. Um, and so yeah that doesn't necessarily matter that much i guess but yeah so so we know that you know i'm super into classics and um i'm converting my morris minor so you know it's all that that's kind of a given but is there anything modern that you really wish had come out as an electric vehicle and i mean to an extent the answer to that is well they all should have come out as an electric vehicle let's be fair Everything built in the last 10 years really probably should have been electric. But is there a particular vehicle that you, you know, it only came out as a gas car, it only came out as a hybrid, and despite that, you still kind of lust after it? As, you know, it, are you uh, a sucker for a traditional Mustang and you wish that? instead of the Mackie, which is kind of a Mustang and kind of an SUV, more kind of an SUV, but with kind of Mustang pretensions. Um, it's still a damn good car, but is that, you know, have you always wanted like a traditional muscle car and you really wish they, that Ford had made the Mustang available in its standard form as an electric vehicle? Or like me, you know, I absolutely love small cars. I really, it frustrates me no end that the Soul isn't available as electric in the US. Uh, we did actually try and get one. Uh, there, there are about 20 of them. And when we were looking for a replacement for our BMW i3, the Kia fleet of 20 test vehicles or thereabouts was being sold off. And we actually tried to get a Soul EV, um, or at least we kind of, noodled at it and then realized that used car prices were such that we'd be paying essentially the price of a new car for a two-year-old used Kia Soul EV and getting one and then having it in the US. I mean, they, they are legal in the US, but it would be a pain because most companies don't even know they exist over here as an electric vehicle. So it could just, it could just spiral into being a tedious nightmare. So, but for me, and I know it's not available here, something like the Fiat Panda. I've really liked the relaunched Fiat Panda. I haven't been in one, obviously, because I live in the US. But I really quite fancy the idea of having a Fiat Panda electric um, as our second car. But obviously, that's not going to happen because you'd have to buy a Panda. You'd have to import it to the US, so you'd have to reason with NHTSA about importing a less than 30 year old car and that's never going to happen and then you have to convert it and it's just not it's just not worth it at this point um, but and in the US the, uh, the other obvious option is the 500e um, which in the US is not available as an electric but is in Europe um, but are there any other vehicles that you lust after that you really really want that you like the styling of that you just think it would make a really good electric vehicle from a few years ago i always and again this has the aerodynamics of a brick and i seem to fancy cars that have the aerodynamics of a brick but um the uh, nissan cube 
when that came out, I was like, why is this not electric? That would be so cool. Um, but yeah, drop a, drop a thought in the comments below. Let me know. I just want to see what, what would you fancy if you could have any car and it came from the manufacturer as electric? Uh, I'm just intrigued to know, uh, is it the big SUVs that keep coming out, the manufacturers keep producing? Is it something small? Is it something sporty? Let me know. I just want to know because, you know, I'm sick of seeing endless SUVs from manufacturers. I want to see something different. Though that, that Citroen pickup, which uh, the concept pickup that just came out, that is kind of cool. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. We, we mentioned it in 10 uh, this week, last week, um, when it came out. And yeah, I mean, it is quirky as all heck, but it's awesome. So that's it. That's, that's my kind of quick thought for a Sunday. Let me know what you think. And uh, thank you for watching. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me and see you next time. If you liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends. And if you really liked it, why not leave us a super thanks? It's easy to do and everything you send goes towards helping us make great content. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and our other channel, Transport Evolve Take 2, and give the bell a gentle ring to make sure you're told when our next video goes live. Thanks on behalf of the entire TE crew, go out to everyone who makes TE possible. That includes everyone who supports us on Patreon and YouTube, as well as those of you who just watch the videos and share them with your friends. If you're a supporter at the charged up level, you'll see your name right here on my right. And if you just joined, we're sorry if your name isn't showing yet. We render the list out every week or so, and sometimes our videos are produced a week or two in advance. So sometimes it takes a little bit for your name to show up. Thanks to our self-driving tier supporters, Mike Buida, Patrick Boyarski, Chris Maxwell, Brian Newton, Michael Goad, Bennett Elder, Andrew Martin, Pedro Mura Pinheiro, Bran Brophy Wolf, Chris and Michael Johnson, Tezza in the Gong, Dan Blair, Peter Dillinger, Gordon C, Stephen O'Donoghue, Kyle Hodgson, Anthony Coates, Ray Jean Fellows, Denny Hyde, Chris Asenta, and Jim Burness, and of course, out of this world support to our Starman supporters, and thanks to our Starman supporters, Andrew Glenn, Anonymous Freak, JP Fakerback, Joe Bresney, John Lyons, Rory Litwin, Kevin Burbridge, Laura Reynolds, Marcel Ward, Matthew Dubnak, Paul Conway, Reggie Watts, Will Grillen, and of course Ian. If you want to be part of this amazing list, you can join Patreon at the link below, hit the join button below to support us on YouTube, or show us your support through Bitcoin, Kofi, or our cool swag store. Links are all down there. And if you're unable to support us financially, just know that watching and sharing the video really makes a difference to our ad revenue. Thanks for joining me, and as always, keep evolving.